Hello, I'm John. I'm the host of MGTOW is Freedom. Uh, my last video was about women, and the only thing they really have to play against men is the bluff. Right? That's the only tool they have. But this video is about how men have morals, and that is how women control men. You know, I think it's important to understand the games they play, right? And then we all need to hear some good encouragement about how to get over, right? How to get around these crazy bitches. They think they own us. They think they can control us, right? So I've talked in the past about how men play by the rules, right? You can't play a sport. You can't play games unless you follow the rules. But women, the game they play is a game of no rules, Right? They play a social game that they've been trained from their very earliest days, from the time they first started talking, and quite possibly before. But what they do is they play a game of how to break the rules, how to get around the rules, how to get away with violating the rules, and stay in the game. Right. So when we look at this, when we talk about it as men, and I'm going to ask you your guys' opinions, of course, you know, is it your morals? Is it your virtue? as a man, right? Your qualities, the fact that your heart is capable of love, that makes us vulnerable to the control techniques of women. I think what motivates women is that they need what we provide. They truly need what we provide because they can't give it for themselves. And so we look like, um, you know, a, a bank with legs. And one of the ways I like to describe it is, imagine this. Imagine if you had a robot. You as a man, you have a robot. It's eight feet tall. It's twice as powerful as you are, strength-wise. And it's twice as intelligent. So if you were to pose to the robot, you'd say, robot, this is my problem. Over here, I've got this, this, and this, and this. I need a solution. And the robot sits down and strokes its robot chin and scratches its robot head and then it says here's the solution and it tells you the solution you just benefited from the intellect of the robot you borrowed its intelligence for your benefit and then you tell the robot I need this done I need that car repaired that roof on that house fixed that lawn mowed over there that junk taken to the dump and then I need you to work 60 hours this week making 30 bucks an hour so I can have my vacation. And surprise, the robot does everything you ask. Wouldn't you start to go, fuck, I need a robot. I need two robots. I need to make sure I've always got a robot. If I can only have one, I want to make sure I've always got one. That's what women think. They look at us as their robots. We're bigger than they are. We're twice as strong as they are. We're twice as intelligent. We solve problems. We fix things. We work hard. And that is the woman's motivation for wanting us. We have, we create, we fix, we do, we think. And all they have to do to get all of our goodness, all of our virtues, right, our, our material goods, is to control us. It's to control us, right? It wouldn't do them any good. It wouldn't do them a, a lick of good to, uh, to try and guilt us or shame us if we were not moral creatures as men. If we didn't care, if we didn't have a heart, if we weren't passionate about the things we believe, they couldn't manipulate us. If we were truly the pigs or the dogs that they say we are, then their guilt and their shame wouldn't work. Think about that. If they couldn't guilt and shame you because you, you actually were a pig and a dog, they couldn't control you. They couldn't get what they want. So they rely on us to be virtuous. And they rely on us as men to be good, to be moral. To be intellectually and emotionally superior to them so that they can benefit from us. 
And I want to show you the converse to that. But before I do, I want to say, if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Click the bell next to it so you get the alerts, right? Uh, and give all MGTOW videos, this one, every video on every channel, not just mine, a thumbs up. So YouTube goes with it. So they recommend MGTOW videos to more and more men. I want to contrast a man's morals to that of a woman. Look what women are willing to do to men when they break up with them. You guys know what you've lived through and you've heard stories from other men. They will ransack your house. I don't know any men who will go to a woman's house after the breakup occurs and ransack their house, break in, steal all the shit they can, break stuff. Like literally windows, pictures, electronics like televisions, you know, computers. And they'll steal everything they feel entitled to. I don't know any men that do that. And if they don't, if, if men do that, they are not good and moral men. But I know a shit pile of women that do that. I know of them. What else do women do during a breakup that demonstrates their lack of morality, their lack of compassion and true love and care for another human being? They'll go to that person's job and try and get them fired. They will ruin a man's reputation in his community, in his personal and social communities, and in his professional circles. That's what women do, because they are not moral creatures. Now, I know there are some women who don't do these things, and that's great. Those are some good fucking girls there, but they are rare and few and far fucking between, because I have yet, right, to, to hear any, any woman say, oh, no, women never do that, right? They can't deny it. Because it's really common that when you break up with a woman, she attacks you personally. She tries to destroy you, right? And this even occurs when they're the one that break up with you, the guy, because they've monkey branched on to your best friend or your boss or someone who makes more money. And instead of just leaving you behind with a fucking broken heart, they want to trash the shit out of you on the way out the door. Is that a moral person? Is that a person of good character and good quality? No, but that's what most women are. They try and ruin you as a father when they leave you or you leave them. They will destroy you given half a chance if they have the opportunity that is an example, again, of how women are immoral, how they have no virtue, right? And it's yet another example of since they don't have that, right, you cannot love someone like that, or they cannot accept your love because they are an unloving, uncaring creature. They are a parasite with a black heart. They are filth intellectually and filth spiritually. And I know these are harsh terms, but when you see a woman destroy a man utterly in court and lie to the police or the sheriff's department about who he is and what he believes and what he thinks and what he's done, when a woman stands in front of a cop after punching herself repeatedly in the face and then says the man did that to her just to punish him, is that a moral human being? The answer is fuck no. But those are clear examples of women, what they do when a relationship doesn't go their way. And how that hurts the man. right? But they rely on his virtue. They rely on your morality as a man to get things done and to fall for their manipulative tricks because you're that robot to them. They look up to you and what...